man, this is Jacqueline Jaguar Wright, and this is Sean Davy Way. Okay, look like he grew up in the 80s. Now, I it came to my attention that they fell out and that he did a funeral for Jaguar Wright. The little backstory is I interviewed Jag, or she came on my show. It went viral. Everybody's talking about it. The crazy side of Jag came out. She was talking about that, but that crazy side came out. And she was talking about Sean Davy Way, went over to Sean Davy Way page. He talking about me on his radio show with my name and a title, streaming my content. This person streaming my, everybody just streaming my content. Whew, Lord. Anyway, so I do some digging, okay? And I go watch, I'm listening to his radio show. Show he he dissing whatever he said I got a video it's got to break records I'm like okay so I go and see he said I'm gonna sue Jaguar right I'm like well first of all let me tell you why you stupid I gotta tell I gotta keep it real I got I, I won't be right to keep it real you said I'm gonna sue Jaguar right and I'm gonna sue everybody around her in in a circle her management how in the world are you gonna sue people that cannot afford to get no haircut? They don't have no place to, to live. They don't have no leash. She have pending charges that it's make it's a strong possibility that she's going to be in prison. And you talking about suing? And let me tell you, your whole delivery shot was off. You telling people your whole legal strategy. I talk with my lawyers and they work. It's going to be a federal defamation case. And my lawyers, we're going to serve them. We're going to go out of it. And we're going to go after the $5,000 contract. I want my money back. I'm $500 already in a hole with her. She, uh, uh, she $175 for the sober house, $145 for the hotel. We bailed her out. I'm suing her for lost wages. And I got de details of this case. Pain and suffering. I've been paying. He said, he said, pain and suffering. He said, uh 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 she somebody they stole my client and then i'm i have a therapist i can't think right i need a therapist i gotta talk to bobby the barber shot with bobby and then i got them leaving the they gonna have a statement this is a legal strategy then i got legacy apartments they're leaving it they're gonna leave a statement then i got the mayor with the fentanyl leaving a statement the sober house leaving it how you pose the sue there is no lawyer in this America of the United States going to tell their client to tell the whole legal strategy. The problem is it's another creator that's going around, filing a lawsuit, misspelled lawsuit, typos, the wrong penal code, and they just filing fraudulent lawsuits. They already got in trouble for impersonating a lawyer. Some happened, he is a trans lawyer. Ever since he was born in the, in, in, in the bad streets of Jamaica, he always wanted to be a lawyer. So in his mind, he is Johnny Cochran. That's how he feel. He believed he a lawyer. He went to Google, read about four pages of the law, and he type up stuff at the courthouse, misspelled though, and go and file these fraudulent lawsuits. He does that. Okay. Jaguar Wright decided to team up with Sean Davy Way Ops. So I go back and I said, well, let me go to the root. And Sean Davy Way, I speak to your shade. Let me tell you why. You make too much money for you to be having messed up equipment like that. You got too much money you make it. You ain't put it towards your teeth. But you mean to tell me you can't fix that equipment? You having technical difficulties like that? Something wrong with that. Okay? So part one of the funeral was discontinued. I never seen a funeral that have to postpone due to technical difficulties. So he had to come back. 
Looked like he was sad when he came on camera. He was continuing with the funeral. He want to brag to the world that I left Jaguar right. She did not leave me. Jaguar right is not my friend. I was friendly with Jaguar right. This is a quote from Sean David Wade. Quote, I am the clout. I, 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 I'm everywhere. I'm taking my name back. I bailed you out. No, you didn't. These fans that was supporters of y'all spent their hard-earned money to bail out a mentally deranged woman. And I don't have no sympathy for you, Brother Sean, because you all benefited from Jaguar Wright. Y'all were getting views. But I'm going to put you to the side because Brother King benefited the most from Jaguar Wright because he had the highest ratings with Jaguar Wright name and when Jaguar Wright hit the link. And I'm talking about Armand Wiggins' former friend. Right? Here, he couldn't crack an audience to save his life. He repeated himself, three-hour intros. She re resurrected that brother channel. Came on there, talking out of her neck, ain't making sense. Breakdown, talking about her husband. It, it didn't make no sense. But he was getting three, four, five thousand 5,000 people in the chat, having her on there. So according to what I can understand, According to Sean, that Jag wanted Sean and Armand with his friend to do her dirty work. And then she went over to Sean W.A. Ops and told the Ops that they trying to set you up and destroy you and all that. I said, Jag, I don't fall for it, but y'all fall for it, brother Sean. Yes, you do, Sean W. You didn't fail for it. Because she pulled this same thing with Armand and Brother Down Low Storm. She pulled this same thing. She interviewed Storm to, uh, to slight Armand and said Storm, and then Storm told Jack, don't say Armand. Make him work for every subscriber. They teamed up. Everything was good, went viral. Jack came back. Because that she got that spirit of she love when people going, she feeds off confusion and beefs. She go to she found out what store they fell out. Then she said, Oh, they they wanted me to come on their show to, uh, to be against you to destroy your platform, our mind. They did that. They had me on the show to go against you, Armand, to set you up to lose your viewers. How she played those mind games, right? The same thing that she did. She played those mind, and she ain't that smart. I know the game. She ain't that smart. She thinks she is, but she's not. But for these people, they fall for it. Brother Sean, he fell for it. This man supposed to be so smart. He just made a he made a video a couple of weeks ago talking about Tasha K and her ex-gay mentees dragging me and Brother Storm. Talking about how she cut us off and how y'all want us to beef and blah, 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 blah. And here you are beefing with Jaguar right now. Y'all was so cool. She's so innocent. Oh, man. Free Jag, all right, we getting out of jail. Y'all putting in hotels. Y'all putting in Ubers and lifts and sober houses. And she been messing up ever since. But then y'all mad because, and I couldn't, I, I couldn't believe it, Paul. Couldn't believe it, my, my, my producer, Paul. I couldn't believe this. This is stupid. You gonna say, she pulled the promise on the, on the, on the, <laughs> on the GoFundMe that if you donate to the GoFundMe to get her out of jail, she was going to do a private performance. So 
according to the GoFundMe, that Jack was going to pick up a mic, come to your house, and sing you a song. She probably be singing. Do a private performance, musical performance. Then he said, we was going to do a musical concert in Minnesota. I said, excuse me? Are you drunk and high? What? She ain't doing none of that. Y'all scammed the people. That ain't going to work. She ain't in no mind to lead the state to do no concert. She would have been did it. Now, I do feel bad for the those people that donated to this scam. It was a scam. Y'all got good. And then you mad because people complaining because they want their money back. I want my money back too, but you knew, ma'am, sir, y'all, why y'all get that money? She ain't going to be doing no singing. She ain't in no right mind to do no. She can't even remember the songs, the lyrics, the melodies. And now, Sean mad because she teaming up with the ops. Your ops. See, I don't understand that. We interview all these people, but that's it. We know how to interview. We know how to get in and get out. We don't stay stuck on it. See, Sean Davey Way, you cater towards the mentally ill and you got gooped. Then now she said you scammed her. She calling my phone. Wiley, he scammed me after 20 some thousand dollars. He owed me 30 some thousand. You know, that's what she leaving me with voicemails. But you did this. You you got her involved. She would still be in Dallas, Denton County Jail, eating a choke sandwich. But y'all got her out because y'all wanted to click some views. Just admit that. Say, I did it because I wanted some clicks and views. You didn't do it because that was your friend you was in love. You don't know that lady from a can of paint. You don't know that lady mama. You don't know her son. You don't know Sam Sr. You only connected with that family to duplicate what Storm Monroe did many moons ago. I know how the game plays. So did our mom biggest friend. Y'all wanted to get a video to get millions of views. But the difference of it is that time has passed. She already talked about Erica Badu and the bones and the chicken bones she had in the cup. She already talked about Diddy. She already talked about Clyde Davis. It is over. That ship have sailed. Tasha K put a nail in her career once she interviewed the family. Move on from Jaguar Wright. She is not going to be your friend. She was on Nosy. She was on Sharia World. She knows she's a friend of nobody, not even to herself. Never trust somebody that cannot treat themselves right. If they don't care, worry about their own well-being, they ain't going to care about yours, brother uh, Sean Davey Way, nor brother Armand Wiggins' friend. They're not going to care about y'all well-being. She don't care about her own well-being. So I just don't understand this. And then you talking about you about to sue. You about to file a lawsuit. You wasting your money, bruh. First of all, I will put that money towards my teeth. If anything, I will put it towards my teeth. I will get some new cameras and lights, microphones, and, and, and get you some high-speed internet and get off that Obama connection, cricket connection. You putting your money towards the wrong thing, and you ain't going to get a dime from Jaguar right. You ain't going to get a dime from a man. He couldn't even afford to cut his hair. He ain't going to get a dime from him. He couldn't even afford to cut his hair at a Zeus Network party. He ain't got no money to pay nothing back. He ain't afford to cut his hair. So you wasting your money. You just got scammed and gooped. Then you scammed the people. You got caught up in a mess. Just go back to your series with your voiceovers about Nicki Minaj and her husband do a three-part series on that. Just go back to what worked for you. But this Jag stuff, it ain't gonna all it ain't gonna end right. We never got that close to a Jaguar right. And we live in the same city. We live in the same city. Do you see me with Jaguar right? Taking pictures? No. I entertain her from a distance because the lady is cuckoo for Cocoa Pups. You never see me in the press with her. 
I saw it from a distance. She don't come on my show and take over because this the Wiley show. This ain't the Jag show. But she can come with these stupid stories out of all them voice schizophrenic breakdowns. No. We entertain her for a second, get a little buzz, and kick her out. Y'all want to make her into a star. No, honey. She don't want to be a star. She need mental treatment. Not no stardom. And it didn't work. It flopped in y'all face. It did. It flopped in your face. Just take that L. Just take that L. Say, bruh, I take it. Move on. You are dealing with people. They are all they think about is beef, beef, beef. Say with that gentleman from Clubhouse. Beef, beef, beef. That's all they think about. They don't beef with me. Why? Because we don't give them the energy. We let them talk about to themselves. You got to know strategically who to beef with. You getting involved, they saying your real name, you say you lost subscribers, you lost views, then you need to get up out of that beef. It ain't benefiting you. You the one that's getting this all this oxygen, move on. You just move on. And do I apologize? <laughs> I ain't apologize none to the people. Y'all was stupid enough to get y'all money. Okay, duh. And to a GoFundMe. That was dumb. But y'all did that for y'all only for y'all benefit for to grow y'all channels and particularly really our mom wiggas friend. Y'all did that. That's why she left me a voicemail. I got something to say about our mom. She wanted our mom wiggas number so bad. We didn't give it to her. This man trying to recover. You worried about our mom. Like, sit your crazy self down, giving you nothing. Only number I gave her was the mental health treatment center. She got mad and cussed me out. That's the only number you getting. Is hello. What is your name? Who is the who do you think is the president? Do you see any ghosts? Do you see any moving buildings? Do you see any buildings, skyscrapers doing the doing the moonwalk? That's it. I ain't giving you no number to our mom. Because no. You want to be messy. Sit down. You out of order calling my phone talking about you want to talk to our mom. We can sit down with your crazy. The only thing you're going to do, you go to the hospital, eat your choke salmon, and sit in there and learn your ABCs. You ain't going, getting no number. You, you trying to be messy, honey. You got to wake up early in the morning to try me. I see right through that fade, that afro. You can't do that, honey. That ain't going to work. This is temporary. You have a pending case. I'm in Texas. They said, Wally, she going to turn against you. Do you really want to see? You You got a pending case. You have a lot to lose. A lot. You have a lot to lose. You need to be on your face praying that they don't lock your hand part up. Not trying to build a YouTube career that ain't going nowhere. You have a pending case. And you getting in beat with a pending case? Oh, this is the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. It doesn't make any sense for me. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Jack, what she does is literally pin people against each other. And she calls herself the ringmaster. But she can't do it because she's cuckoo. You can't play another brother that walked in the same cuckoo shoes. I've been in the same hospitals that she been in. She can't play me like she playing y'all. I ain't giving her a dollar. She thought she was going to get $500. I don't know who thought of that. Give you nothing. Only thing I'm going to give you is a rebuke. That's it. And she's still going to call in, just like she still called my number once the show is over, because I know she's going through her mind. That's her. Because I know it's temporary. It's the season. She done this before, and then she go away. It just so happened she just committed a crime against the uh, the police department, the Soto Police Department, Officer Romero, or whoever. She, she committed a crime. That's the only difference of the story. And then I want to break this down. Her family already know that she cuckoo. They are, they didn't cut that woman off a long time ago. Y'all, the stupid ones, they keep bringing her up. They already know she crazy. To them, 
this is that's Jag. She's cuckoo. The B the B word is crazy. That's what they say. She been like this for decades, not for years. For decades, she been that way. And and you see, she don't live with them. She right here in Dallas, and the family's all the way on the other side of the country. So if her family cut her off, why y'all rushing to help her? It's a reason. If your family don't want to deal with you, you got to look at the, the heart. I'm like, wait a minute, why your family don't want to deal, deal with you? Usually a couple of them, but your entire family don't want to deal with you? Your immediate family siblings don't want nothing to do with you? You see why. If you just sit back and observe her spirit, you see why they don't want to deal with her. You see it. She will flip on you and put allegations on you all day long. That's what she do in her sick, twisted mind. I had a Freddie. I love my Uncle Freddie. May he rest in peace. That man with the police be called, he'll say I was a gang leader. He said you work with this gang. I, you part of this gang. And the police look at me, are you, sir? I'm like, no. But he'll talk. he talk with so much authority. And then he, and then that voice will get professional. He is a part of that gang. He robbed people. Then my uncle, the Bishop Cartwright, came. He really couldn't stand Bishop Cartwright. He owned drugs. He robbed liquor store. All oh, Bishop Cartwright, old T. Freddie drug it all up, old T. Yeah, he did something in Millersville, Georgia. You ain't living in Millersville, Georgia since you a little boy. But his mind, I remember that as a little boy, like as a growing up teenager. And then one time he tried the police part, the police officer like Jag did. And my grandmother said, are y'all taking him to the hospital? The police officer said, no, man, we're taking him to 26 in California, not Los Angeles, California. 26 in California is the Cook County Jail. That officer looked at my grandmother, no, ma'am, we're taking him to 26 in California. Because he kept calling them, them, them officers C words, B words, MFers, S words, anything in his mind. Told him to lick it and do this and all type of stuff. They took him to the Cook County Jail. Damn. So I, I had a front row seat to cuckoo people. I had a front row seat to it. We know that spirit just like that. Y'all don't know it. Y'all think this is a, a joke. Y'all think it's a kiki. And then when she flip on y'all, now you want some sympathy. I ain't giving you nothing. Give you no sympathy. All that mess you talk, then deal with it. You mad because this you, 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 she got involved with your ops. He he a he a trans lawyer. He filing false lawsuits. He played with that. But y'all feed into that energy. Once you start responding to him, he move on. He came on show a couple of times because he had a lawsuit with our mom against Fred. Once that tea dried up, you didn't see him come back over here. That was it. That ship have sailed. Because we knew the type of spirit he had. But I said, we'll get into that little lawsuit. Okay, good little Kiki. All right. Door closed, we move right along. But you kept feeding that energy. You got to know when to get in and when to get out in these type of instances. Because you claim you lost subscribers, you lost money, they saying this about you. Strack said on the show that you own and operate a troll farm. Like this one. It's like, hey, I mean, y'all did it. Y'all promoted her up. Y'all put questions. Is this over for Jag? Is she's going to put all them troll titles to get people to watch our platform? And now she turned against you. And now she ain't going to do nothing but build up another entity. And she's a black woman. She's loud. She's boo. That's what she does. And they're going to follow her because people like to watch nutty people. They love it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm just a deliberate nut, but they love to watch nutty people. Look, people, they love it. It's entertaining. Watching crazy people is very entertaining. It's entertaining. When Kanye West went on his breakdowns, the stuff that he said, networks was rushing, breaking their neck to interview him because it was all entertainment. And then when he was saying stuff, they all had to apologize. 
You had that guy from Drink Champs apologize because Kanye West said something that got him, got almost got him canceled. That thug that drink all that liquor he came out almost wanted to cry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know he was going to say that, sir. I'm sorry. But y'all interviewed a mentally ill, manic person, telling him instead of telling him to go to the hospital, y'all brought them cameras and microphones. Y'all did that. We know how to troll and kid and joke. I said, yeah, let her come sit. Let her live with me. It's a joke. I'm kidding. She ain't coming here. But it's a good joke, a good storyline. I'm a wrestler. You know, sometimes I play the, the bad guy. Sometimes like, she can come live with me. It ain't coming here. It's a joke. But y'all did my, y'all got her out of that place, got her some new clothes, got her feminine products. Brought her to a sober house, a hotel, car service, food. She got to get a haircut for her ball fade. Y'all did all that stuff. Planning it for a concert. You supposed to be, you supposed to be uh the opening act because you wanted to do a comedy special, a stand-up comedy special. And then Jaguar Wright supposed to come on out. Okay. I remember <laughs> the man in the that was sitting in it lives in light away. Oh, 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 oh. You she supposed to come out and start singing. And y'all supposed to sell tickets. That's a failure before it gets started. And then the king, he supposed to come on there with a crown. He supposed to be out there selling uh 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 smelling hairspray. And folks will be selling Popeyes and chicken and hairspray. That is a disaster. On paper, I would have balled it up. You know that y'all sitting and doing all that stuff. Sit down. This is pathetic. And I know Armand Biggest. I know he's somewhere at home. Said I tried to tell him he ain't gonna do nothing but go live and confirm everything I said. See, um. Hey guys, I, I'm yeah, uh, Chin Chin. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking a couple of little perks act, but yeah, uh, I did, I did hear about that. I, I saw a video, and, and, and the psycho lady, she, she just, she turned, she turned against the friend, the good friend, turned against. They did it. They now she just turned against my wow, wow, wow. Wow. Get in here, get in here. Get in. You know, my back twisted. She turned against them. And see, this is what I'm saying, y'all. What y'all have to understand. See, people don't want to give me credit. Y'all know I'm a superstar. And when I say stuff, just sit and watch. But y'all don't want to give the credit. Now she turned against them. Now they having lawsuits. Now it's all fraud, fraud. It's all I, I seen this play play out over and over again. I seen it play out over and over again. King left and decided to get with another person that they use him, and he's mad because he, he want to control Jack. You cannot control a mentally ill person, stupid. You cannot do that. If a mama could control her, her hus ex husband, her a new husband, her son could. Go, what make you think you could control her? With your foolish self. You can't control a who hoo They hearing voice, they sense right? You can't control that. They ain't medicated. Shut up. Shut up. You cannot control her. She's in her own world. She is delusional. You can't control her. Sit down. You got to know how to play. Come on now, bro. But y'all didn't know. Honestly, either you knew, but you wanted to do it, and then you got it. The same thing with Storm. She kept saying, oh, boo, boo, boo sent Jag up, and then Jag started spreading allegations. I talked to your neighbor, Storm. He said you a pretty good guy. And, and if I lose this baby, I'm going to send it to Cardi B. She in the, she in the Amalam's truck. Are y'all nervous? Don't be nervous. Let me tell you something, Storm. If I lose this baby, I'm going to the Nation of Islam. I'm getting Minister Farrakhan against you. 
and I'm going to send it to Cardi B. Look at this HD, this crystal HD. Look at this HD, that nut. And I wish the paramedics would have put her in an institution then. This, is, this, this had played out. It was funny, by the way. I remember that mess. Saying storm on wrong. There ain't no people don't know nothing about storm on. They looking in the cloud thinking it's a real storm. They ain't know you talking about a down low man with rosy cheeks that played with himself with toys on, on OnlyFans. This app all played out. And then what was that rapper name, that singer? Oh, my gosh. He said, I find it quite interesting that Storm is now calling this lady a liar, but she wasn't a liar when she was lying on me, but now she turned against you, but now she a liar. What was that man's name? He's a conscious brother in that group Roots. What is his name? What is that man's name that was in that group? Uh, 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 it starts with a T. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, a Kwali? What was it, man? Uh, what that man name? I can't think of his name. I can't think of his name, but that man shared something to store. Kali, Tali, Tali, is it Tali? Tali, Kali, whatever that man named Kwali, Bali, Tali, Kali, he sure call it out. I remember that. I sat a front row seat. And that's what y'all rushing to make a star. Man, please. This is funny. I hope our mom Wiggins is listening, watching, <laughs> and getting a good laugh. I really hope so. Because this is funny. <laughs> I'm like, what the world is going on? With the they just had this lady just. And they had that lady doing all that, and now they upset. But. I don't feel sorry for y'all boys because y'all should know you play with the cuckoo nest. You going to get dirty. You play with her and now she's going to play with you and put all type of allegations. That's what she's going to do. That's her. That is her character. And then he said, I know you got a court date September 20th. I'm going to serve you with paper. You wasting the court's time, wasting their time with that stupid stuff. They ain't got no money. Jag ain't got it. The one that can't get his hair cut ain't got They ain't got no money for no law, to pay no lawsuit. They ain't got no money to do that. That sound good, but you ain't talking to no lawyer about doing that foul. Do you know how expensive lawsuits is, son? Come on. Come on. I know you know the dental plan is serious because the teeth is raggedy. But you know paying a lawyer, filing a lawsuit is expensive. You keep talking about Tasha K. That was a lot of money that Tasha K had to pay and she's still old. That's expensive. You don't have hundreds of thousands, thousands, hundreds laid away to pay for lawyers to go find them. You know it's going to be hard to find these people. They're going to hide. He got different identities. He know how to pretend to be a lawyer. Maybe he'll pretend to be a police officer. He'll pretend to be a nun. Anytime that you go to a, 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 a services to get a free apartment, and, and it's supposed to be with people with blood that got the three letters, you go there and scam them to get you a free apartment. You think he ain't going to know how to hide from them process servers? Come on. Come on, player. Stop it. Just, 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 just stop, stop where you were here. Just, let's just end this episode. Let's go to another storyline because that ain't go. That, that, that ain't no big thing. That, that ain't nothing. That ain't, that ain't nothing. Stop it. That don't do, do, do. Stop it. We only on this show live talking about it because, because. With Jag, accidentally, or I'm not going to say accidentally, she came on her free will, and she hit the link. You did a funeral on Jag two and a half weeks ago, like two minutes or something. I didn't cover because I didn't care. But when she called in and we went viral, I'd be stupid not to talk about a story that we broke. We, we, we shook up this sector, right? 
We shook it up. My name is all in the title. Oh, my favorite celebrity would be so proud. They all in the title, putting my name all in the title. This is Section A of YouTube. Do you know I know how to do a Section A of YouTube? I come from this sector. I created it. I'm the founder of the sector. I'm a pro at this. Do you know I'm a pro at the Section A of YouTube that know how to, the B sector, Section A, ghetto sector? I'm a pro at it. I did it for years. Why do you think that video was so effective? Because I know what to say to trigger her. We used to trigger each I used to trigger folks so bad. They they the lady drove to my family church. She pulled up to my family church on camera. Wiley, I'm on my way to the church and I'm gonna tell them you were my queen of the cross eyed diva. She called the church, talked to the minister before he was demoted, went to the church, sat there. Finally, then she went in her apartment with that air, con the air conditioner. She dragged the church for filth. I triggered that grown, greasy woman to go to my family church. So I know something about the beef sector. This ain't nothing new. If you, if you want to do the beat, uh, I'm, I'm a pro at that. You in my territory. I'm a founder. Sit down. You don't know what you're doing. They all talking about lawsuit. I seen in the B sector. Sean, Sean Bradley wanted to sue VS. VS didn't have no money. They went and found her and they served her. Showed up to her house. VS called me. He said they was going to sue her because BS was calling the man John Gacy. Then she was doing a challenge. I didn't even know John, who John Gacy was. Hey, doing the challenge or dance. I'm up here dancing. This one dancing. Uh, all of that. He wanted to sue her. Then we found out her name was Susie. Then he dropped the lawsuit. Then five days she filed order of protection. Went to the courthouse. I'll bay. I'm five bay. I'm beautiful. I filed an order of protection. Two years, Susie. You can't miss me for two years. I've seen that playing games in the courtroom. Then I had a website post her. And this is like I've seen it all happen. This is nothing. The only new in here, these are just bigger creators. Only thing that is new, that y'all are just bigger creators. But this was going on on a smaller scale. Actually, it was worse on a smaller scale. Like Jaguar Wright episode of her showing up is reminding me when VS went there and hit that old lady at IHOP. Get off of me. Yeah. Y'all coming for VS, Susie? Yeah. Y'all want to come for me? Y'all think I'm weak? Yeah, she in there. I got to go. She leave. Got to go. She got arrested. Couldn't be on the internet for five years. I've seen this happen. She was on lockdown for five years. Couldn't even be on the internet for five years. I've never seen that happen before. Five years she couldn't be on the internet. And we interviewed the lady that got sat on and hit with some pancakes at I had. Interviewed her. And we talked. And then she got mad at me because folks turned against her. Because they wanted VS back. They turned against her. And then she started dragging me. Then she got her son on the phone. She was drunk. Got a drunk son on that phone. He want to cuss me out. I said and done this already. She supposed to be so injured. I said, ma'am, if you were that injured, how you was able to get up there and walk to that restaurant and eat them pancakes? I thought you were supposed to be in the wheelchair. And then that lady would call VS. She called her one time. Now, here I am. I'm getting mental health treatment, right? I'm in the mental place. I'm hoo -hoo, getting my refill of my medication. She called me and said, Hey, Wiley, I called VS because I live up the street from her and I wanted to give her some of my furniture because I'm moving. And you know what she said to me, Wiley? I said, what did she say, sister? She said, B, delete yourself. She didn't say delete. She said the K word. I don't know why she said that. She keep thinking I was harassing her children from club chat. I wasn't doing that. These were older people. 
She's supposed to be so sick, got caregivers and wheelchairs. You ain't had no wheelchair when you showed up at that IHOP with them sunglasses on. So, yes, I'm here. I'm here, Susie. So what she got to say? I'm here. Then she, st she stood up, got up, got up from the chair, walking around. I guess VS, they call her weak. Baby, she got up. She had to show everybody. She hit the lady with a slap of pancakes on the back. Whoosh. She hit the ground. Whoosh. She sat on her. Get off of me. The waitresses, they're in a predominantly white area. The waitresses, the maids, the, 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 the nuns, they all had to break their fast and break up a fight. Get off of me. Get that woman off of me. Yeah, you coming for me? You following my babies? I ain't following you. You crazy nut. This was all happening live on YouTube. This was happening live. This was happening live on YouTube. This is happening live on YouTube. So I had a front row seat of that. So if y'all want to know what it is uh, 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 about, this was live. Then somebody, Jay Wilson, he supposed to be a preacher, a pastor. He supposed to have him a meet and greet at San Antonio, Texas. He supposed to be bringing King Jobs, a pastor, preach false prophet. I rebuked. I said, don't go to that. It's messy. He didn't want to believe me. So they all meet up, five babe. They all go to San Antonio. Me, I'm a troll. I say, I'm coming with Tracy to San Antonio. And, and, and Brother Jay said, y'all, bride of lives, we going to pray. Don't worry about the Cyclops. We got security. If he show up, baby, if he show up, we will have security. All right. They, they in San Antonio. I'm just waiting for the, I'm waiting for the fallout. They in San Antonio. He, he driving to Tracy apartment building. In San Antonio, a preacher, so-called down low, down low prep pastor preacher. He in that jack. Yeah, that's how house pointed out, and Five Bay secretly recorded it. Secretly recorded. They go there. Everything good. They all fall out. King Jobs get dragged. Baby, they dragged King Jobs so bad that brother went to Walmart, got some bleach. He bleached his eyebrow. He bleached his hair. He went on in bleach. Baby, TSCC docks his family, his entire family, and VS, she was so effective. She would go live and be like, his family is very dangerous. And his aunt, yes, because Susie is, 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 is aunt. Because Susie don't lie. I'm TSCC. I'm Susan. His family is so dangerous. You loud on your mama. Your mama committed fraud. You, how you supposed to be a pastor? Jay Wilson brought a criminal to San Antonio. And then Fabe got mad. They, they all fell out. And I was right. Because I warned Brother King Jobs. And then I tried to warn, what's that older lady name? Woo, glory. It's an older lady. I didn't want her to come. <laughs> I told her, don't come. <laughs> and I said, this is, uh, I forgot these people's names. I said, this is somebody else. I told her, don't come. She was an older lady. She wanted to come there. Brother Jay, he texted me. <laughs> I said, this is from TSC. <laughs> don't you show up. So I texted him from a troll. I know. It's an old, another old. It wasn't Bless Walkers. It was an older lady. I said, this is from TSCC. You bet that show up. So she called, bro. she called Brother Jay. And I think I said I was Jay Wilson. And then Jay Wilson came up on there and said, if you use my name and guess what I'm going to, I said, I, 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 and I said, don't worry about it, Jay Wilson. I'll sue you. Do you got the money? Do you got the money? Because back then, we didn't have no stream yard. Do you got the money? Then shoot. Then shoot. Then shoot. We, we, we had a battle, baby, at that B sector. Baby, this ain't nothing. Baby, when we, when we beef, baby, we beef. We beef. I'll be, 
Let me tell you about that beef sector, Section A sector, because we call it Section A. So I'll be on the city bus. I didn't have no car. I was broke in the nurse home. I had my cricket phone, city, going live, talking to my art. Lovely T would be in the chat. This is when I first, you know, got a little audience, got my little, almost at my thousand. Jay Wilson go live. Baby, you ain't even got no car. You on the city bus. Baby, on that city bus. Hey, you ain't even got no car out there walking on the city bus. I'm on the bus. You hit a bus stop. You hit, you know exactly what neighborhood I'm at on the bus. Baby, on that bus. I was on the bus. I didn't have no car. And my first introduction outside of me dragging Armand was Tasha K. I was live, and then Tasha K called me, and that's what I known about the celebrity gossip T sector. But I remember when I called it the Section A sector, I put some draws on my head because I couldn't fit the draws. So I used that as my cap. I use that as a hat. And I said, I'm the king of the Section 8 sector. Then Timothy Bland, he went live. I don't understand, Wally. And Wally going to call this the Section A of YouTube. This ain't no Section A of YouTube. You know, he ain't got no teeth, false teeth. This is not the low rent sector. Why are we calling it the Section A of YouTube? And Wally, and Wally calling it. And then a little dog. Hold on, hold on. The little dog be right there. He, he can't hardly see. So he he got his glasses all deep in it, and Wally calling it the Section A. You look at that apartment, number big old statues and stuff with all that crap in this apartment. Talking about me, then then VS go live about Uncle T because me VS that was my partner. She go live, and she talk about the dog. She she posted a picture of a deceased dog and posted all on there with dog sound. Then Uncle Tim, he started cussing. You want to turn about no dogs and all that type of stuff. <laughs> and then the dog going crazy. Arr, 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 arr. And then V.I. said, I don't know. This is V.S. T.S.C.C. I don't know what he's doing with that dog. Maybe he's doing something with it. I just don't know. I can't, I can't really say that. If you, I, I, Let me see. And then V.S. will be so strategic. Let me see. I got a receipt. I think, go hold on one, one second. Like, and then she'll put it on mute. And when she put it on mute, she gets some receipts. She gets some, some receipts, some QI critical thinking. She put it on All right, all right. We then got us some receipts about the dog. We got the documents and stuff like that. Then <laughs> we had other people in the beach sector. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a true story. Somebody docks. Whew, somebody docks Uncle Tim. <laughs> and they called his phone. <laughs> they found his phone number. And they told him to be careful. <laughs> be careful or they're going to show up to his house. Baby Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Tim said, if they show up at my house, <laughs> if they show up at my house, I got me a big old pipe, a big old stick. That man pulled out a two by four. Let him show I got me a big old two by four. I said, let him do this, Uncle Tim. Who messing with the senior citizen? This is a, a senior citizen. Baby, they got here and the dog. And come here, I got a big old pipe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he pulled up a big old stick. He pulled up a big old stick. He ran out oh, there. What you gonna do with the stick? Man, this, baby, y'all didn't see nothing. That beef set that they got today, it don't come quick. To the beef sector. So hold on, y'all. I got tears in my ass. Hold on, baby. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So now this is me. I, I'm a little cuckoo, so I know how to pin people against each other. So I go on Brianna platform. Oh, Brianna, I love you. I fell out with Miss Pat. Miss Pat is the one. She lived in the senior citizen building. She purchased me a flat screen TV. That we still got today. She purchased it from Walmart. It was at Walmart. I had to go pick it up. So Miss Pat and I, we fell out. Because VS and I fell out and she took Miss Pat over there. She took Bless. She took all my purse givers. She took Bless Walkins. She took Miss Pat. My, two of my best givers, cash out givers, she took them. So I'm in there leaving messages 
and and VS was sad. You bought him TVs. You gave him money. Bless Walkers had me on a, every two weeks, giving me a check, giving me money. VS was interviewing. It reminded me when they interview opinionated. I've seen this play out before. That they interview him. So Miss Pat, she's still in the bushes watching me. And I said, I know you're in the bushes watching. And she jumped out, started laughing. And then she called me, Wiley, I don't understand why, why they don't want me in your chat. You okay with me? Why they think they can control me? And I told Bless that you can't control me. And then she said that. And then VS went on her community wall, said you blocked. You ain't no moderator. Your checks is low. Your purse is low. They dragged her. They said, Tia, they all turned against her. They all, they all, they all turned against her. So she was there. I had it recorded. So I go on Brianna channel. I'm caking up to Brianna. I'm causing confusion with TSCC. I go on Brianna channel and we got messages and texts and stuff because Bless Walkins and Miss Pat, they fell out. So I'm on Brianna channel getting interviewed and Bless was talking about uh, who was she on that live with? Bless was exposed to somebody. <laughs> she was exposed to somebody. So she got up there and tried to expose a blogger. I can't think of... Oh, she exposed to Miss Pat. Because Miss Pat took a picture of another YouTuber house, Duchess Kelly Love. Sent the picture to Bless Walkins. But when Bless said it, I said, that's a receipt. And Bless was like, you, yeah, 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 let's see. Why you didn't send it to TS? And BS was like, why you didn't send it to us on our show on the mess on the on the message express train? They, they dragged Bless Walkers, call her, call her dry. Yoni said our Yoni was dry <laughs> because she had a receipt. And I'm just egging it on. And then and then here I am. I'm in the chat. I, I'm on the camera on StreamYard. I say yes. And Miss Pat is texting me right now. And she says she did send it to Bless Walkers. Miss Pat is texting me right now. And then Miss Pat, she jumped up out the bushes. She jumped, she jumped up out the bushes <laughs> and said, I'm not in the mess. I'm not in the mess. I'm going, y'all need prayer. And then Brianna said, Miss Pat, you are in the mess. What are you saying? You in the mess, girl. You in the mess. I'm just going to pray. I'm not in the mess. <laughs> And then I go live. I start dragging Miss Pat. I said, do they know in that senior citizen building that you up there selling, that you up there selling fire sticks? Because she would sell fire sticks. Because she gave me one. It's still in the box. I never used it. So she would sell fire sticks and VS and stuff. So I go live. I said, do that senior citizen building, Golden Gate senior citizen building, do they know that you selling fire sticks? Where your kids at? Don't your kids don't want you on the internet. You're supposed to be selling no fast sticks. So, baby, this is what we did in the beef sector. We will pick it up. We will see stuff. Whatever it is, we will see stuff. Then it was another lady. She had a, a skin disorder. I forgot her name. And, you know, my nose was running. And Wally got that booger sugar. They start saying booger sugar. He got that booger sugar. Booger sugar. Hey, y'all doing it? Cuss me out. Because I got a little snot. They said it ain't no boogers. It's booger sugar. They trying to put that little powder. As they said, anything that went live on the air, they talked about it. Then, this is my last point of the B sector. So everybody thought Jay Wilson was straight. Jay Wilson and I was beefing hard, and he kept saying, you from that ballroom scene, baby, ballroom. And then I said, ballroom, that man found an old website. It's still active today. It's old with me taking pictures of, of, of gay parties, right? He found that website. And I said, he that's confirmation. So one of my producers sent me the Jack, the catfish brother, Jay Wilson, the pastor, preacher. Catfish and the guy had a nice body. That ain't his real pet. Has body. He said, I'm coming over. He said, Well, I ain't got no lube. The pastor didn't have no lubrication. Mm -hmm. 
So he sent email me the Jack messages and I exposed him out the closet. And DNJ Wilson went live. How you doing, Ride or Live? I want you to know uh, 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 it is true. Baby, I, would, I was never in a closet. Because back in the day, the chat, they were, we would respond to the chat. Baby, hold on, hold, 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 hold on, Christina, baby. I never was in no closet. I never was in the closet. What I do in my bedroom is none of your business. And then he'll break out in the scene. Ah! You know, he'll read the chat. We used to talk to the chat. Like, like they sending out home, we would talk to them. Because the chat, they was a part of the B sector. They gave us, we helped each other. And they were trolling. He sent a picture. See, they had all that. And we had that. I still got that email. Then the people, they unsubscribed from me back in the day. They will, how they did protests, they would give you a thumbs down. They thumbs down the video. They didn't like it. Wiley, why would you do that? Turn against me. Because, you know, someday they will love you. Someday they won't love you. You know what I'm saying? That was the B sector. That was the sector that I come from. So all of this crap that's going on here, the drama, that, it ain't nothing new. Only thing that's new, you got you a singer, you got to somebody with some raggedy teeth, and that's why my roast and gag, I can do it just like that. Because I did the B sector for years. I I got my name, my image built from the B sector, baby. And then they this ain't new with people not saying my name. Jay Wilson, said, uh-uh, Cyclops, baby, Cyclops. You Cyclops, you on that city bus. Baby, you ain't got your own place. Like they would drag me. Talk about my eye. Then it was another lady. Everything she talked about me and my family. And Wiley, let me tell you something, Wiley. She be in the dark. You a B. Let me tell you something, Wiley. You listening to me, Wiley, with three people in the chat. She would rec- It was three people. So one day we do a show. We in Florida. And that's the lady. Baby, when she show up, dark skin, big belly. I said, you talk all that. Me-. And then when she showed up, I kept the same energy. I did not. I turned my back. I kept the same in and key with the T. She, I turned my back from her. She wanted to say, hey, oh, hey, Wally. Once I knew that was her dragging me, I didn't say nothing. I kept walking. I, and then I uh, then I went up to her and then she said, let's take a picture. So she took a picture. So I posted on my Patreon two pregnant people, big belly people, pregnant people, and they dragged her on Patreon. <laughs> they dragged her. And then to that lady credit, we was in the living room. I just want to say I'm sorry for what I said about you on YouTube. I know I didn't even know who you was. I was just trying. I just want to apologize to you or what I said about you on YouTube. Yes. So I, 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 I been there. I been there. So this ain't nothing new. That's where I come from. I know how I know how to, and, but the difference between me and the B sector, when I was in the B sector, I knew how to do celebrity gossip, book club. Trending news. I knew how to do all of that. I know how to do trending news. I know how to do all of that. We did all of that in the B sector. Sometimes we would talk about it. Sometimes we would talk about politics. We have always done that. Even though that'd be the the least amount of views, we would do church services. We would preach. We would sing. One time I was singing what God has for me. Jay will say, baby, them vocals, baby. Did y'all see Cyclops over there trying to sing? Baby, them vocals, them vocals won right. And then Lipstick Alley was our Twitter. Lipstick Alley would put stuff in the would, would put stuff on the thread because VS put me on the Lipstick Alley. It was a whole thread 
Sean Bradley and, and Divi Wan's B sector reports, and they would post in real time what's going on in that B sector. Baby, I would wake up in the morning. That was my New York time. I would read what's going on in that B sector. And then I say some different stuff. They said one thing about Wiley, he funny. That man is crazy. He always gonna keep it. They couldn't stay in VS, but sometimes they really kind of like me over there in the B sector. They kind of they kind of like me over there in, on, on, on Lipstick Alley. I was kind of their favorite sometimes. And then they say, you know, Wiley lie. Ain't no truth in him. He's a liar. He always telling lies, but he funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do the Wiley show morning show. I'll be up at five, four, something in the morning doing a show talking about beef. I had to go to work at a nursing home at 6 a.m. I had to be at work. So I wake up earlier before 6 a.m. doing a morning show deep in the morning doing shows. And then VS, because me and her, when we were close with, you know, she would do her. Eight and nine o'clock show. Birds would be chirping. She breed puppies and dogs. Man, so many memories with that beef sack. So then, once me and VS fell out on Thanksgiving, she started talking about me, start posting videos of CNAs doing crimes with weird eyes. She would record it and play it and be in the chat. And so I went live and respond. I said, you breathing, that's puppy, puppy stuffing. You doing that, who breed puppies? You on that section A. We were just talking about the birds chirping. I was just roasting them. We were just roasting each other on Thanksgiving. And then VS said, you know, he's just mad. He don't have any family. He can't be with his family. I didn't cook my kids some food. And so she showed a picture. <laughs> Of her Thanksgiving food, look like dog food. So I took that and then I went on my page and dragged the food. <laughs> I see so many storylines in that I just see it's just, it brings back so many memories. Whenever, baby, whenever you see on camera, we gonna talk about it. Back to Jay Wilson, and I'm done. When he had his event in San Antonio, it was about three people that say, uh, first of all, they all was at dinner. And then was some fat folks. <laughs> they all took a picture, big, overweight, obese, with big old plates, uh, styrofoam plates. Baby, I dragged that. How are you supposed to have an event? Y'all got some big styrofoam plates. Oh, man, those big, wild, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. I was just dragging that people. Whatever I saw, I was talking about how I was dragging. And so then everybody left. They started to leave and go home, 5 a one. So they have, and so King Jai, he was the main star, right? He was a celebrity. So they in Jay Wilson's house. And they got the security guard, one security guard with a fake gun. There's one security guard with that fake bat, his boyfriend. He said it that because they thought me and Tracy was going to show up to San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> they really thought I was going to drive to San Antonio. And DJ Wilson, he going to make police reports. <laughs> he going to the police station. He went to the police station. And I'm going down to San Antonio. <laughs> He went to the police station and said, I'm coming down there. The dude said, I even know. I'm just trolling. It was so, it was so funny. Then Jay Wills, he in a relationship, right? With a new man, Krusty. They go to Six Flags of Great America True Store. They take a picture and they wet in the water park. But I can't say that because it's the B sector. I got to be messy. So I go laugh. That don't make no sense. Jay Wilson embarrassed his boyfriend, got that piss all in that pissing around with the kids there. You piss all on your right side leg. So pissy. How you going to go to six side with all that piss, all that urine, hot urine? <laughs> so I went in there. I just said it was piss. That was the beef sector. 
and the pictures, so they rested in it. It was all on his right side. All on his right side. So, you know, <laughs> that was the beast. So, so when I talk about you, it's hard to turn away. Sometimes I try in the air of the town and get a look, I get that little itch. It's hard for me not to talk about people. That's what I did for years. And then what made me leave, I wanted something better to grow my platform to talk about more trending topics. But this sector <clears throat> have turned into the B sector. It turned into the B sector. Lovely T, she made it in front of DJ Vlad. You know what I'm saying? It, it, if turn against it, it really have. Yeah. I seen it happen. And then, because you know, back in that's what it was. And then we would have a news station. Yes, we did. We had a we had a news lady. It was Tracy, baby. Tracy would go like, "Hey y'all, y'all, we bring it back some news, y'all. Hey y'all, I've been minding my own business, y'all too." Now the only difference between her being a news lady, she couldn't read her writing. She couldn't read it. And she would have a charming cabinet on the back of, and she would just drag me. And Wiley, why do you need to not take your, you need to take your medicine, Wiley. You're crazy. Are you okay? I said, oh, I'm going to get that lady back. So I have a callers. They said she looked like a mannequin. They saw calling a mannequin. I said, you got that charming cabinet, dusty charming cabinet. I talked about that lady charming cabinet. And then one day, Patrice, she doing the news because she would drag everybody. So one day, she was live, and her phone fell. Oh, you saw that filthy apartment. <laughs> one day, she dropped that phone, and I got the phone dropped. <laughs> and you saw that filthy apartment. <laughs> so that was like another storyline in the beach sector. And then Tracy just went ghost. She stopped showing herself on camera. Then one day, you know, you go get hungry. <laughs> so <laughs> she went to Uber Eats or she went to, you know, a, a delivery service. And she <laughs> she ordered hot dogs from 7-Eleven. Now she forgot to put her phone on mute. You know you're supposed to put your phone on mute when you order it, but she forgot. Hello, babes. Hello, hello, my tweet. Hello, hello, my babes. So she called it. Yeah, can I get three posts? <laughs> they said, okay, what's your, what? She said, her address. So they found her. They found that lady's address. She said, you know, you're supposed to have all that for in the beach. She said, you better put that phone on mute and put dark in that screen. She all that foolish. <laughs> and then one day she accidentally turned that camera on her face. Baby, it looked like a tree was growing out of her forehead. She accidentally, you know, when you 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 both, you want to be on a dark screen, you know, I think we had upgraded to StreamYard then, and she accidentally turned her camera on. Like, Tracy, you're on camera. You can yourself. We see something growing out of her forehead. Baby, Lipstick Alley, they took the picture. They started rolling. I took my note. I said, I got her. I said, she got a whole forest going out of that forehead. She got a whole forest and she just got a whole forest going out from it. So whatever we saw, and then what what made what made that part of the sector just go that not to be the same, everybody start not, and I'm telling y'all don't know who these people are. I'm just giving you an example. Just listen to the story, just get a good laugh. Everybody stopped going on camera. They start doing this. Yeah, so that's what happened. That B, Dusty B, B, Nasty Lil B, they just did that. And it hurt my commentary for me because I'm a visual person. I got to see you because whatever we saw on camera, we talk about your outfit, they just went away. They just started doing this. And so, okay. Now, Tracy, this was a good story out of the beef sector. So she was connected with Lovely T. She was lovely T moderator. So her and Five Bay was beefing. And so Five Bay, they made a video. Lovely T. Why you got her? She be having screwdrivers and hammers. She be wanting to fight. She's aggressive. 
Why you got her as a moderator? Do you know the harm that she's causing, baby? She's talking about my daughter. She's doing a whole lot. So everybody rushed from the B sector to lovely T, <laughs> to lovely T chat. Why y'all coming out here? Go take them to Tracy chat. So people, she was going. She went on the. Wait a minute. She went on the blocking spree. So the trolls, they donate money. <laughs> So they knew that she only reads super chats. So a whole bunch of trolls went to her chat and they left super chat. Fire Tracy. Fire Tree Dog. Why you don't fire her? So she would read it. Why don't you fire Tree Dog? And she would block. But thank you for the $10. You're blocked. They would troll her by leaving. But it wasn't think about the B sector. Baby, they got about 60,000 troll pages and they kept. Coming because she would call the FBI. This stuff was real. They they was calling the cops, FBI, CPS. They they wanted to take Uncle Tim. He was on Social Security. They wanted to take his Social Security check. Baby, that was a ruthless sector. <laughs> that was a ruthless sector. I'm telling you, that sector was ruthless. Baby, they will call all type of people, report all type of people. They would do that. They would. But that was that B sector. All right. Um, so we from that is what I'm saying. So I understand the B sector. I understand what you're trying to be. Thank y'all so very much. <laughs> Yeah, it's good switch. Yes. So that's how that happened and everything like that. Don't forget, uh uh read uh read the roaster. Oh, yes. Now y'all all everybody know that woman that said she was missing, right? Y'all, y'all remember this woman, right? What was her name? Her right now. Okay. So they're gonna keep every time. So it was a lady, y'all know already you know a lady that went missing, blah blah blah. But in the B sector, we had a story like that in the B sector. So, Rita the roaster, the baddest roaster, right? Her daughter was missing. It was on the news. You see Rita, she all that. Where's my baby? What was the lady? What was her name? I, I'm going to say, say Sabrina. Sabrina, are you there? Where are you? I hope you're not in there. Give me my baby. They go in a random building. It's got the grandma. All that. Police is on the news. We talking about it. I'm going live talking about it. We was just, everybody gets serious, right? Do you know where that daughter was at? The daughter was getting her some ping. She was with her boyfriend getting her some ping. And then Rita had the camera. Oh, baby, are you okay? Is everything, oh, mom, I'm okay. Why y'all do this? I'm fine. I was in my friend. She was getting her some ping. They did all that because the late some ping. The lady was getting getting it in. She was not kidnapped. She was not missing. And then the Mona. Oh my God. The Mona Simone child. Her wife, she's a lesbian, right? Her wife said, rest in peace, my wife. Oh, we go. T.S. Madison said, rest in peace, Mona Simone. Everybody said, rest in peace. Uh, uh, Jay Wilson, the pastor, he's on a cruise. Oh, rest in peace. And he's trying to rest in peace. Couple of hours, about an hour later, she back. Poof, she ain't dead. So then Tracy said that she faked her death to go viral. <laughs> and then they blamed T.S. Madison. Baby Miss Mary was crying. They blamed T.S. Madison for the law platform. We roast that lady. We roast her for a filth. She said, I was gone. I was, I, I, I was flatlined. And they brought me back to life. <laughs> so she had, so she showed up with a, a hospital gown and an ankle and a wrist bracelet. They just brought me back to life. I said, what, what, what the world? No, she did. This happened in the peace actor. 
and she just lost her. And everybody just stopped fooling with her. That happened in the beef sector, man. That happened in the beef sector. And then <laughs> I go on and on and on about this beef sector. So Duchess Kelly Love, I said he was dry. He called me, right? He said, hey, Wiley, Jay Wilson can't make it to, 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 to San Antonio, to Dallas or Texas. So I got an extra ticket for zip lining. I didn't know where zip lining from. So I go lie. You a married man. You want to do something nasty with me. Talking about some zip lining. some freaky. I don't sleep with old men. I'm young. You want to go and make love to me. I don't zip line. I don't zip line. They was like, no, Wiley. Hey, zip lining. Zip line is when you with ropes. And, blah, blah, blah. and then I took that. I don't want to dang from no rope. This ain't slavery. Get that out of here. Like, I would talk about that and talked about Duchess. And I talked about his white husband. It was just like, that is what it was. We would have a beef. I'm telling you, child. That's like a whole series, child. I go on and on and on and on and on. I go on and on and on and on. It's a lot of stuff that happened in that beef sector. But my point is, this between Jagger Wright and this guy, Sean, Sean everywhere, this ain't nothing new. Okay? This ain't nothing new. We this ain't nothing new. We could we I, we can go all the way to DC gate. <laughs> So I'm always, I always know how to make storylines because I'm a wrestling fan. So I said, hey, Rico, let's go. Rico really liked me. Hey, he would call Lynn. Hey, he would fall in love. He liked me and everything. I never liked him like that. So he get an Airbnb. Now, mind you, we're going to record everything. Everything going to be on, this is before StreamYard. It wasn't on StreamYard. Everything was on the phone. So, and VS said, we're going to do, I, I, we could do something in DC since you coming, but I didn't tell Rico. So I get on the plane and I didn't have that much money, but I get on the plane because he said he's going to pay for the food and, and, and Airbnb. So I get on the plane. I get there. I record. We see Rico. He bought me a car and a teddy bear. He bought me all. I'm recording it all. So we get on the train. Then we end that part. Baby, the beat said that was why Jay Wilson rushed. Baby, trains, planes, and no automobiles. No auto, uh, no, no cars. Aud aud automobiles, no cars. That was the title. Plane, buses. I mean, no train, buses, and no cars. Baby, didn't even have no car. They outside with Teddy Bear. Rico, Rico, he bought him a Teddy Bear and chocolate. No car at all. They on the bus. They on the train in D.C. Eating chocolate and teddy bears. Didn't make me no difference because I wanted to talk about me. So we record everything, right? So we in D.C. We record. He gets the Airbnb. I'm sweating. We see it all. He can't hardly pass a lot. We in the basement. He, he got all this chicken, all this stuff, and didn't even have he didn't even know how to do the code to get in this Airbnb. So finally, we get in the basement. We in the Airbnb. We call in, blah, blah, blah. We go out east. Uh, we get a shirt. We just talk and connect. We we, we walk in area. I want to see D.C. I'm so political. I, I was political. I want to see the White House. I'm so addicted to the White House. So we do all that. We take it. We take pictures. I got the pictures of I can show later on. And, okay, V.S. said, I want to see you while you're here. Let's go. Let's go to the casino. And I said, Rico, is it okay that V.S. want to see me? Oh, that's, that's Susie. She's a liar. She evil. She's the dark forest. They used to, there was a nickname. She's the dark forest. I don't want to see her. You know, King Bradley. That's my king. I want to see her. I said, is it okay if I go see V.S. Uh, at the casino? Oh, that's where I go, too. He said, well, I'm going to go cook the chicken at Chocolate Bay House. Oh, before that. Let me go back. So we sitting here, and Rico kept saying, I got it. He does YouTube. I got a friend. He does YouTube. So he come in, and he say, I'm Jay Wilson moderator. Why did he say that? He know me. And I'm beefing with Jay Wilson. So I go in there, interview, talking, 
having fun with Jay Wilson moderator. We just talking. Oh man, I'm dissing Jay Wilson. And then Jay Wilson, he gonna lie. I uh, uh, see y'all rather lives. I told him, baby, not to go there with Rico and Wiley. See, 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 see. I know what's about, baby. I know that it ain't right with TSCC. Some ain't going to be right. It ain't going to turn right. I know Wiley, he can't be trusted. I told Chocolate Bay, he grown. He going to do what he going to do. We just having fun, right? So Rico have all this chicken. He can't cook it because they ain't got no stove. So Chocolate Bay said, hey, I go, I take you to go to my house. And I say, well, VS will come and pick me up. I never met VS. This is my first time meeting. So I find, so Rico gone, he get the chick. He said, I'll be there once the food is ready. Come to that and I'll meet y'all at the scene. I said, fine. So VS show up in two SUV presidential trucks with the TSCC members. Baby, black, thick, black excellence. And it was an old lady there too. That's the purse holder. Because me and VS, we met. I mean, VS was thick. She had a tattoo on her chest, a European tattoo on her chest, meat, smelling good. Thick, black, thick women, chocolatey, and, and SUV trucks. And QI never spoke to me. Now, mind you, I didn't even really know QI like that. But she didn't speak to me. And the other people, they were spilling tea. They were talking. It was nice, blah, blah, blah. So we get to the casino. We get that. VS was like, go live. I'm like, no problem. Make sure you put me in a title so we get to click the group, put TSCC and Wiley meet up. I put in the title, whatever. And then we go. He said, did you eat? And then Rico, uh, Rico was like, dark forest. Rico, you see, I'm feeding your man chicken tenders. And you making him some chicken. You making him some dry chicken. And he, he look, watch, watch, Rico. I'm going to feed him a chicken tender right here on the air. So she feed me a chicken tender. I take out. <laughs> Gee, let me feed him a French fry, Rico. Ho, 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 hold on. Just, just, hold on, Rico. Hold on, Rico. I'm going to feed him a French fry. I'm going to feed him a French fry. Just be with Because he's going to have my baby. Yeah, me and Wiley, he's going to have my baby. That was the storyline. So the storyline was I was supposed to get VS pregnant in D.C. <laughs> that was the storyline. Hey, I said, oh, you about to get pregnant with VS. Oh, you about to, you, you going to get VS pregnant. And QI was it is. So Rico talking about he going to show up and do some harm to it. They arguing. Rico, they never show up to the casino. Why? Because Chocolate Bay car was towed. He parked in a no parking zone. They had to find a parking thing. Rico was crying. He was upset. Tracy had a thousand people in the chat. You need to leave. And Jay Wilson interviewed him. Leave, Wiley. Throw him out. They were telling him, throw him out. I already had a plan B. VS was like, listen, if he trying to throw you out, you can just stay with us. We got a couple of rooms. I was like, okay. So he throw it out. They going like, I'm just watching in the chat. They just throw it out. And all that. And he did that to me. And I bought him. I bought the, the Air, Air, Airbnb. I paid for the liquor and the food. And he treat me like that to meet the dark forest. He set me up. He didn't tell me that TSCC Susie Dark Forest coming because I'm King Bradley, Team King Bradley. They go that. So we finally go down. He let me to come in. Okay. So VS and them, they gone. They gone from Storyline. So <clears throat> we in the alley smoking. In DC in the alley. We smoking. We doing what we got to do in the alley. And then I think I had on some shorts. I kind of pulled down my shirt, my cheeks with stuff showing. So we get in the house, we mess, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Chocolate Bay, he go home. The next day, we, we uh, 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 I'm getting all these thumbs down. They just thumb down the video. They mad at me. And then I go live. I'm trolling them. Me and Rico put on rolls. He had, he, he, used to work, he used to work at the hotel. So he stole some rolls. He thought that was romantic. So he put on a roll. I put on a roll. We go live. This is me and Rico. We are fine. We're do, number thumb down. They dragging me. We go on the bus thumb. They dragging me for Phil because I'm getting dragged. So we go there and we have fun. Then we go to the club. We come back tonight and Chocolate Bay come. It's me, Chocolate Bay, and Rico. And then we said we're going to go to this club and we're going to meet Lukerman, his friend. I was like, okay, that's fine. Let's go to the club. So we go to the club. We all upset. Nobody there is, is dead. 
And the Luca was like, come on down. I said, no, he crusty, ill, he ugly. Like he was crusty, weird looking, dusty. So I didn't want to, I want to go. I said, we need to go some pop. I want to dance. We get it in. You know, I'm on a pie tag. So and I was skinny then. So we go to another club and it's dancing. It's like a, it's still like an upstairs room, but people dancing. Okay. I'm I'm there. And then Rico's like, okay, I'm gonna go meet Lukerman downstairs. They ain't let him back in. So me and Lukerman there, then it was a female. We was there. Hey, wobble, hey, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, hey, wobble, baby, wobble, baby. I mean, get up there. Yeah, 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 that, that big girl, what you bagging that? She was bagging it up on me. I'm like, ah, I ain't know what to do. I was looking weird. That was too much women though. Like, you know, I'm doing the Tyler Perry dance. You know, I'm just dancing and recording. I told, and I told Chocolate Bay, record it. Everything got to be taped. I'm doing it all for the camera. Hey, she sweating up, dancing on her, hopping on her. Yeah, we, we, we get it in. Okay, club over because we only was able to be there for a good. 45 minutes. Done. So we had to go. Chocolate Bay is all right. Luca was like, well, do y'all want to follow me? We didn't know where the car was. We lied. Chocolate Bay lost the car. And I got her information on Instagram. We still connect to this day. So Chocolate Bay lost his car. He don't know where the car is. We just walking all through D.C. looking for the car. Well, I think you put, I ain't know where you part. I'm new. I'm not, no, I'm from Texas. I'm at that time a Texas resident. Where the car? He know where it's at. And then finally, Chocolate Bay, he found he found the vehicle. So we get in the car, and Lukerman following us. And Lukerman thought he was just going to have this big old session. Okay? The cameras is not on. So you just have to take my word. So we get to the place. I take a shower. I put on a towel. And Lukerman put his crusty finger in my bread basket, he stuck his crusty finger <laughs> in my bread basket. And I'm like, ooh, he really thought, I'm like, I don't think he licked it. I'm like, uh, you know, whatever. And I was kind of like, so I go in there with chocolate because I didn't want to do it. So Rico and them, they get Rico and, 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 and Lucrement, they get it in. They know they get in the living room. He in this box, he get in this box eight in the living room. So me and Chocolate Bay, I like he had some beautiful white teeth, a chocolate. He was good. A teddy bear, plus size fat man. But we're getting in the end in the room. We start making out. Rico got mad. Oh, y'all ain't going to be doing this, making out. I pay. If anybody going to get some pain, this is my pain. I paid for the Airbnb. I paid for the food. And then Luca said, listen, man, I ain't got time for that. I'll go. And then if you got a problem, you can leave. So I'm recording this all secretly. I said, who's this is good for the beat cycle? I, I'm recording it. I'm secretly recording it. Just secretly. So uh Chocolate Bay leave and we just after we just go we just we we just we just going through man. And I think like the next day or that same no, that's the next day. And then Rico still hot. We go out to the White House, we go out to some stuff, we eat, he's still bad about it. And he said, I know VS bus because he kept wanting to have get it in with me. I couldn't get it up. I, I just went into him. I know VS bus a couple of whatever, bust a couple of, you know, in words, you know, may love they bust. So he threw so he threw a drink in my face. Whoosh. A drink of alcohol beverage. He threw it in my face. Whoosh. It splashed on the hairboard of this Airbnb. So I called VS, I see through a drink, and v Rico had all this stuff, right? And then VS showed up, she came and got me. And she and I was on to call the popo. I, I gotta call the popo. <laughs> she said, Don't call the popo. And then Rico called, he was and she was like, I don't want to take on uh, uh well, I don't I don't trust it. I don't trust because he kept saying what he gonna do. So I had I said, Come on, she said she'll take us. So I packed up all his stuff, his pots and pans, his chicken, the dry, the dry chicken, the three pieces that I left. Uh, Cause we ate a lot of, cause we were drunk. We had a lot of, so we get we get in the car. So uh, uh, we 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 get in the car. It's me, Rico, and VS. And VS was looking at me. Now, mind you, me and VS are Scorpio, so we trying to we trying to keep Rico calm. So we would role play, and so VS would be like, Wiley. Why did you, what happened? No, she was like, Rico, what happened with you and Wiley? Yeah, because 
I, I did that and he want to make up with me. He used me. He looking dead at me and he lied. He better not lie right now because I'm a hit him. So I kept a strong because I, I don't want to fight. I'm already mad. I don't want to fight. So I kept a strong face, but I was laughing on the inside. I kept a strong face. And he did all that and had all that and all that. I paid all that money for that Airbnb. And I just want to thank you, even though I think you the dark forest or whatever. So we had to take him all the way to Maryland because he lived in Maryland. And then, no, Virginia. What did that man live? He lived somewhere close to D.C., but it wasn't D.C. Whatever the next state. Is it Maryland or Virginia? I, for, I think it's Virginia. Anyway, I forgot where that man lived. But we went to McDonald's. And then we got in. He said, I ain't hold the door. And I didn't hold the door for VS. Because I'm pissed. I had liquor in my I'm recovering. So we get there. We get us. We get. We, it was in Maryland. Thank you. We get us some pancakes. We get us some uh, 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 sausage McGriddle. We eat. And I'm ready to take Rico. So Rico. So we still got to tape everything when we go outside. So Rico and and it was Rico and VS. They finally, they do a peace summit. So yes, we are here and Wiley. He should have did that to Rico. And he he's not a gentleman. She, and then VS is like, oh, Wiley, you need to be a gentleman. Be a gentleman, all of that and all that. And it's hot. And then... VS told me to go upstairs and make love to Rico. So we go upstairs. I didn't want to do this, but I did it for peace because I felt bad. So I go upstairs. It's hot as hell upstairs. Hot. I'm sweating. Dizzy. It was hot. It was a summer. It was so hot. He didn't have no AC. He wanted to make love with me in that bathroom. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't get up. He said, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. And I think he bust. I said, I, I, I got to go. I said, okay. You want to make sure we go? I said, okay, Rico. I'll I, I call you. I was done. So we done. We done with that segment with Rico. He dropped off the season. So me, VS, we all went to her area out in Virginia. We drive in a rental car. We go to the hotel. Okay. And I finally meet the TSCC members. But she told me it's going to be some problem. But I'm thinking it's going to be nice because we all was cool the next day. I said, hey, Q, out. She didn't talk to me. Nobody was speaking to me. Everybody was quick. It was pissed. And another lady, she was mad. She, she another TSCC member, mad. They all mad at me, right? So I said, what's going on? And so the lady said, don't worry about it. My cousin coming to pick me up. Are you getting the car or not? Because Susan ain't going to wait for Are you getting the car? I ain't going to wait for you. And she drove off. The lady was out there. And so, uh, 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 and then QI was like, what's the problem? Because you didn't help protect me. What you mean? I was going downstairs to get me a cup of coffee. You wanted to get a cup of coffee. I, my life was on the line. I had to go get Wally for Rico, and he wanted to do harm. You supposed to be my girlfriend, and you wanted to get some coffee. You didn't care nothing about my safety because you wanted to get some coffee. Susie don't wait for nobody. And I'm going to tell you what I did. I started laughing. He, he, he. And then QI. And then QI said, don't you laugh at me, Wiley. And no, no, he can laugh because you was, you were so concerned about crunching your thirst. than protecting me. <laughs> you were so concerned about crunching your thirst. than protecting me. You wanted to do some coffee. So we all, so she said, oh, so we got Chocolate Bay to come with us too to drive to some area in the water. Well, first of all, we went to the restaurant first. And she said, I hope everybody got the money because I ain't paying for nobody. And then QI said, don't worry about it. I'll pay for you. And, 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 I, and I paid for my food. Chocolate Bay paid for his. And, but Chocolate Bay didn't want nobody to know that I that he was with TSCC because they was like they was the bad fruit in, in the B sector. But I'm secretly recording them in the the whole ordeal. I'm secretly recording. Everything is recorded. And I know like, I'm not recording everything, and nothing is recorded. No, okay. Well, at least you recording. I said, like, no, I'm not recording. Blah blah blah. Everything was recorded, right? We eat it, QI talking about how her and Q, and, and chocolate baby was gonna get a uh, a Nation of Islam channel. They supposed to be so woke. She out on them bumps on her body. So 
we get to the koozie. We we hugged up. We grinded out. It was good. And I'm getting on. I'm getting excited in the jacuzzi. Hot tub. And, and Chocolate Bay, the camera accidentally got on Chocolate Bay. And, and I don't care if it's three, four seconds. The B sector is going to catch it. So they exposed, so they got him. And then QI didn't want, she did not want to hold that camera. She was pissed. She was so pissed at me because of VS and my relationship. We had a good relationship. We were cool. We were tight. I was never a member of TSEC. But they got mad at me because I would troll TSCC. I say, I'm the king of TSCC. I'm the new king. I'm with, I'm the king. And, and, and VS is the queen. That was my allowance. Yeah, 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 we were together. That was my ally. They couldn't stand my guts because they were all, they all want to sleep with Susie. But Susie will be considered bisexual. She more so lean it more to men than women. And anytime you know when you come up with women that like women, they don't like when a man come with this real equipment. It's going to be some trouble, trouble, trouble. All right. So I fell up out of D.C., and everything like that, and I can go on and on with some more stuff, but I'm done. But man, that that B sector was all there. That is a legendary. To this day, in that B sector, they still remember DC Gate. <laughs> and the beauty of DC Gate, it wasn't a lot of people because that before before I came in the B sector as one of the founders, it was all about Vegas Gate, right? About Lady Nika. About her back in the day, they used to call her Gator uh Crocodile Mouth, Gator Mouth. What they call it, alligator mouth, because her teeth look like alligator, alligator teeth. And the VS saved her and gave her some cash apps. She made a return because she was canceled in the in the Vegas gate. Came out. I want to thank VS for giving me my voice back. You gave me my voice back. I want to thank you for giving me my voice back, for saving me when people threw me away. I want to thank you, VF. That was fine. That was a good season. That was a good season. Now they worked together, and then they fell out. And Lady Nika didn't say nothing. They fell out. Because <laughs> Lady Nika wanted to borrow some money from VS Fred I, out of his Social Security check to pay her light bill. Or phone internet bill. Because she said she couldn't do the show because she couldn't pay her bill because she was broke. And she asked him, can she pay $100? And she wanted to go on the and she wanted to go on the Mess Express account and, and pull to pay her bill. And VS said no. <laughs> so they fell out with her. So I'll just say that I go on and on and on about the B side of the baby. I am telling you. That is what that sector is about. It been that way. And ain't nothing you could do about it. That was that beef sector, honey. That was that beef sector. I know some of y'all remember that this was funny when he came out that Jay Wilson found out he uh found out he was at he was back. Yes, I remember that. I remember when the beef sector started. I've been around since the T.S. Madison Kaya fight, and the beef sector started. I used to listen to Wiley in the morning when we all used to get off work. Yes, I used to because I used to work overnight, and I used to do that morning show because I, at that time, yeah, and I used to do do the morning show. Absolutely, yeah. That was that time. <laughs> That was that time. Thank y'all so very much, man. This has been so good. Like memories. They said, I remember all this, Wally. Okay. This is memories. This is memories. This is memories. So I, I go back with a lot of these people from the pizza. And mind you, the celebrity gossip sector, they used to trash the beef sector. I was the only one that dibbing dabbing and something but never for a time they used to trash they call us the low rent b sector and blah 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 but i had a gateway with armand wiggins i had that gateway with him so i had a storyline with him and he was a bigger creator 
So I will use some of my tactics in the beat sector, and it was so effective with our mind. And he would respond and everything. Then I came, and I will say, when I came to this sector, I brought some of my B sector ways and kind of shifted this sector. And then Tasha K shifted it and made it more so like the Section A sector, the Section A celebrity gossip sector. We made it, because Tasha made it that way, because she would jump on other channels, blah, blah, blah. I used to eat it up. It was it was a good and that and it kind of shifted and to this day it still got the residue of that spirit of beefing with each other instead of uh of talking about celebrities because I brought it in put in lovely T in the title Tasha K in the title I mean my chat was heavy we would talk about Nikki at night Candice Christian Candice we talked about Data Tisa a lot a Christian Candice and then and then T and, and then uh uh uh. uh and then Tasha K was like, "Yeah, I seen V. I seen daytime Candace. I seen her walking. She was power walking, and her house is filthy." I said, "No, T. T uh, Tasha K. Her house. Uh, you don't know that. Her house is very filthy." I, I keep crying because I saw. I, I could have did something because I saw outside power walking. <laughs> so V. S. Kind of like. I'm sorry. So Tasha K. Kind of like brought that in. She fell in with that. Cause I saw out that power walking. So that's when we was cool with Storm. And then everybody was in the chat. And then and then and then uh 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 daytime left a, a super chat in there. And if you got a problem with it, oh 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 oh, oh she want to bring us to the internet. Oh, hit the link. Don't talk about it in the chat. Hit the link, give our link, give our link, and storm a rush. Oh my god, this is going on. So I dropped the link, and then Armand was in the chat. And he said, you're mad because I'm just your friend. You don't even know him. That's 29 days. You made fun of him. That's when they first built they, they friendship. They started to become friends. Because at that time, Armand used to trash Candace. Say she ain't got it. She ain't talented. Her personality was dry. When Candace tried to get on camera, he said, ooh, she didn't get the views because she, she ain't got that personality. Everybody can't be on be in front of the scene. Some people got to be on the thumbnail. Some people got to got a face for radio. She used to, he used to trash Candace, right? And I used to trash it because I was team Tasha K. <laughs> so they meet up with uh, uh, Erica Banks, and they was in a swimsuit, and both of the booty cheeks was touching each other, and she supposed to be a married woman. So I take that. What Christian woman is halfway naked, got their cheeks out with her, with Erica Banks' cheeks? Don't you pose to be a Christian and marry? <laughs> I used to do it all, oh, man. That used to be it all. Oh, and then Sean Davy Way, he came in, he would call in, and then he picked up the B side. He used to put my name because he was Team Armand Wiggins. He used to drag me for filth. So it all played out. Only difference is everybody got mature. People' qualities is up. Everybody is like moving and shaking. But I remember the humble beginnings. And then Sean Davy Way, he got a hundred thousand subscribers, and, and he said he surpassed me. No, he had got more subscribers than he surpassed me. Right? He went on this rude ride. They thought it got to. It never got to me. It, it, it never bothered me. It was all entertainment because I never really cared about it. I just, for me, I never looked at YouTube as a full time job because at that time I had. A full time job. This is just a hobby. And then I, I and then once I left, I, I left and I came here. I just did it for it. I just left and I never went back. I don't even know who's on the beach sector now. I just I'm doing it here and now I'm talking to y'all. Hey, you know I, I've learned more so of the business and still learning. You know what I mean? Still learning. Mm -hmm. Somebody said I stopped watching the beach sector after you left. Yes, nobody believed you would leave. Nobody believed that I would leave. And we left and we didn't turn back. Every once in a while, we would make a special appearance. And every time we made a special appearance, we woke it up. Every time. My last appearance was both before VS returned. I made her appearance a week before she came back. And that was it. And I knew then I said, this ain't for me no more. It's a, it's a chapter closed. But I do remember the memories. I remember the people. They're, they're family, and I love each and every one of them because they helped make me the man I am today. Thank you. All right. 
They said, yes. <laughs> they made me the man that I am today. And so we learn it. And then, because at that time, I couldn't get no subscribers. And then now we we, we got more subscribers now. We're doing really good now. Hey, that's to y'all, to the viewers, to everybody out there, to Sean Davey Webb. Thank you, brother. But he know who I am. He know I'm going to talk about it. I talk about people. This is what I do. All right. So we're going to see how this storyline going to play out. I'm interested in the storyline. We got the court date coming up. Uh, it said, make sure y'all thumbs up. We're going to chop this up. Uh, they said I stopped watching once VS got locked uh, up. Uh, they said you all you you always had that uh, had that it's back to you. Uh, yes, always. Yes, they said yes, Wally. Yes, so I remember that. So, and I'm learn I'm just now in this lifetime, like this year, learning more about the business, learning more about the business. Because at first I would just do YouTube, didn't care about no strategy. I would just get up and go live. That's it. No strategy, no thumbnail, no title. But I have a title, but it, it it will be no thumbnail. And then and then I start changing in the beast. I start having an intro. I start having a branding with it. And you know what I'm saying? They said they did not mature. They uh reveal themselves. You however you have evolved. Yeah, I've evolved. Out of all of that, I I evolved. I did because I listened to that voice when we was in. When we was in, um, wow, it's 1049. Okay. While we was in Atlanta, we were taping a show. And it just, it was like a shift that it was time to go. And that's how I got my interview skills because we would interview people. All type of, we would talk to people, interview, and I became a, a good interviewer. And so I got that from the beat. So that's why I would never be shamed of the beat sectors at all because I got a lot of my skill set. Uh, from that sector, it trained me. It got me thick skin. You know what I'm saying? It got me thick skin because I know I have the thick skin because of the big sector. I, that's why I got it from. I got it from the big sector. Correct. You always had that if factor. Why? Thank you. I've had it, and it's here, baby. Y'all seeing it? It is gonna get better and better and better. It's gonna get better and better and better. And now people is upset because you remember they said you only got thirty thousand. Now it's creeping up now because I got the if fact. It's just me learning the system. Now, my name is in the title with other names. People streaming my full content. I mean, beginning, middle, and end. Streaming it. Because I have that it factor. They ain't never did this with Storm. Storm did a whole date with Fish. Did a whole date with Fish. They ain't play his content. No. They didn't even talk about it. We did something with uh 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 Jag, all right. Everybody talked. Because what it is is Wiley. And then when Jag came on with small, because it's Wiley. It's Wiley. And I'm saying fish, because I know what I'm saying. I say he did it with a fish. This is a key key. This is a joke. This is this is words. I get called worse. If you can't take it, honey, sit down. This ain't for you. But if long as you giving Wiley energy, I ain't gonna stop. Loris, Miss Loris, you know it's what it is. Armand said fish. Tasha K said fish. T.S. Man said fish. But when Wiley say fish, he got to shut up because I look slow. I know what it is, honey. Everybody else said probably. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, that's fine. Wiley said, oh, I'm offended. It's because I look dusty. I know where it is. Cockeyed, dusty, raccoon eyes, and everything else that they say. He called me. Wow, I, I get called everything under the sun, but I got to watch my words. Skip that. You hear that? I get dragged. I get dread. They call me Wakun eyes, yellow teeth. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Sean David Way. He would call me radio, radio. He called me radio. Somebody that real slow with a radio. <laughs> you can't play football with us because you're a real. <laughs> That's what he called. He called me radio. 
not no radio in the system, uh, our guy, because the guy was kind of slow, he had a problem, and he had it carried around the radio. That's what he called me. But everybody could just woo, woo, woo. But when Wiley say what he got to say, oh, it's a problem. Oh, you can't say that. No, I'm saying it. Because if you're not a fish, then don't respond to it. Only fishes respond. If you ain't no fish, why are you responding? And then this is what they say. And I know he's not taking his medication, and I know the medication is not, he's not taking it, and he needs to get the meds, and blah, 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 blah. If all of that is true, then why are you responding to a man you claim ain't taking his medication? And you're supposed to be sane. And you going to tell, he keep calling me fish. He got bipolar. He take his, man, they're going to look at you like, okay. That's the same thing about Jag. Y'all be want rationalize, and this woman eat ashes. What do y'all expect? <laughs> we crazy. We a little hoo-hoo. <laughs> Some of us is a little sane than others. Some, some, some of us are a little sane than others. It is what it is. I said that Dana Ross quit. And what did she start doing? She started digging in her hair. I'm proud to be Diana Ross. It's an honor. It's an honor to be. She started doing it. She started feeling herself better than the date. We had her digging in her hair. When she did that, when she did that date with Storm, she's falling asleep. She did that date with Storm. She was going halfway asleep. Talking about her career. When she talking about Wiley, she started fidgeting, moving. You're just mad because you you don't have because I'm beautiful. And she don't know that 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 makes me feel all warm and tingly inside. This is the time I just oh, oh, you digging that house, I was just watching her. Huh? I'ma watch it again tonight. When I get done, I'ma just watch it when I'm frying my chicken, just seeing her. Getting people on there. I'm hearing my voice. And then she showed my face with the shades on. Yeah, my baby. Showed it with the shades on. She was like, and he looks like that. And I'm, I'm like. She, she had it paused while I'm like, oh, okay, babe. You thinking good looking. You know you good looking, honey. Man, please. You good looking. I heard that she live in the project. If it is so, I get her out that project. Come live with me, babe. And this ain't no Beverly Hills, but, you know, I, you know, she look kind of good. Not no kind of good she do. Man, please, you know, man, please, because you know, you my new Neek at night. You know, Neek is old news because you you way more beautiful than Neek. That big old rack. Ain't gonna get mad at me. And then I'm messy. Uh, and, and then we bring up Coffee City. And we got to respond from Coffee City. Do we have a response from Coffee City? We have a response from Coffee City. <laughs> I told the B sector tactics is still work today. I said Coffee City said it. I didn't even know who a Coffee City and what blah, blah blah blah. And this is what Coffee City said. Let me see if I can pull up what Coffee City had to say. Hold on, I just read what Coffee City said because I don't want to move around. So Coffee City, you know, she retired, but she she does her YouTube drama on her Instagram. So she said this. Now, what I got to do with this laughing emoji? I don't know who this lady is with this Diana Ross wig. I only watch a video of her and Storm on a virtual date and, and give my opinion. That's it. She's responding to a post I made saying I don't know her and, and, and I don't know her and Storm because they got chemistry and all that. I never said anything bad about you in that synthetic Diana Ross wet wig. I'm just saying for me watching from the outside, I don't see no romantic chemistry. That's just my opinion. Maybe you guys connect more behind the scene, but as a viewer, I don't see it. And I have the right to my opinion. And she pretty looking fish and she dropped about three fish emojis. So can't get mad at that. 
But she ain't gonna get dragged. She gonna get it passed, baby, because she a black woman. But I get dragged. And she she watching. And I haven't heard my content being played. So, baby, everybody just playing my content. Everybody just playing it. She playing it, laughing. She she she's just playing. Everybody just playing, just having a good old time. <laughs> Talk about me. <laughs> it's okay. Cause it don't bother me. <laughs> y'all are rookies. I can tell a rookie. Y'all are. <laughs> Some of y'all. We just have it. It's a key key. It ain't that serious, honey. If it is, just, just go on here though. Y'all know y'all ain't got no, no chemistry. That's our story. He be, he be stalking my page. Child. Bet you can stalk it, but you can't duplicate this personality. Rosy cheeks. Oh, good. I still want to touch them cheeks. You bet not come to Vegas. I'm about to grab the oh, roll cheek. Take a take a take a cheeky cheeky cheeky. He 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 studied my page, and we want to say congratulations to our growth. Can can we get a hand clap to that? Okay, let's get them off off the. We can keep them on the screen. Just shout out to our growth. I mean, I want to say this. Can, can y'all sit on that? We ain't leaving yet. Baby, I, I'm in my zone. You leave. You can leave. I'm talking. So we we did our members only. Baby, we show how much money we made on YouTube. Man, it's low. <laughs> anyway, we got in. If you missed that Zoom meeting, you missed it. I said 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> we going in. And I was telling them in the meeting, I said I felt it, I, I felt discouraged. I felt like a failure. It was a video that I was going to put out, and I may put it out, about I failed at YouTube. And it was some things I was going to share. Uh, they was working on the thumbnail. I was going to share, have my talking points. And then I started getting updates on my social media presence. And I started seeing something on my TikTok first. I start seeing growth, right? Right now, I want to show y'all this. Give me a second here. Because if you can talk about the roast and gag, you can talk about the good stuff. And I'm still going to do the video. You know I'm going to still do the video on Leah TV. You know I got to egg it on. You know, you know I'm going to still do it. Because you want me to do the video, baby, I'm going to do the video. All right, we still got to do our date. All right, I date. We're going to have some real chemistry. All right. I'm bringing the chemistry. I'm bringing the C to the Y. You already know I'm going to do, okay? You already know I got the voice Z. All right, it's going to be a date. We ain't worried about no chat. You talking to me. Ain't no chat. You already know that, right? You know that, right? Yeah, you know that, right? Uh, we ain't worried about no chat. You think I'm going to be worried about chat? I got that thick, beautiful woman to chat. I ain't studying no chat. Anyway, not at that time. So... Finally. So that video got 12.9 thousand views. Twelve point nine thousand. Twelve point nine thousand views. But what if I would have quit about two or three days ago when I saw my income drop dramatically on YouTube? What if I would have quit? I would never saw the growth. Then the growth on my Facebook page and the growth on my YouTube, gaining more subscribers, gaining viewership. What if I would have quit? But because I have a strong work ethic, I said, mm -mm, I'm too much. I can't do that. I got up and got back to work. Because that's a part of the testimony. Go through tests. I mean, test it. Let me see if you're going to quit. Because the old Wiley, because it was a test, when I didn't get any, like, um, traction, I quit. Fast. I'm done. 
Carl Armand, got to quit. Quit again. Quit, quit and quit again. I kept quit. This test, it had whoosh, and it hit hard, and it hit a lot of other people. And I said, man. And I, I was in that emotion that way, and I was reminded of a scripture. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. You got to have that faith. You also got to work. You got to have it. And then I'm saying, oh, pray, pray. And, and, and it just dawned in my spirit. You already got the answer to your prayer. You already got the answer. Only thing you got to do is execute the answers that you have and put it in, in, in motion. You already got the answer. So once we start growth and then Jack White Wright, we didn't call her. We didn't tell her, come on, sister. You better hit that link. She hit it. And it, it shook up the sector for this particular day. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but this day, on this Monday, I'm going to say Sunday, which is going to Monday, we dominated this particular, this, this sector. We dominated it. We shook it up. For us being a smaller child, we made noise, right? So, but what if I would have quit two, three days ago? I wouldn't have been sitting here with y'all talking about this today. I would not have Sean Davey, Sean Davey Way uh, talking about it. And now God will have your person where people think like, oh, he's trying to be like Armand Wiggins. Armand Wiggins is on the sideline. He's dealing with an injury. There is no Armand Wiggins for this moment until he come back. And Wiley dominated in a sense because people say, oh, all you talk about is Armand. And then whoosh, you saw my personality. You saw the skill set of, of, of us. Did you see it? Because one of the things, when y'all do content, don't nobody talk about y'all video. That have changed that day. They talked about it, played it, dissected, and they laughed. They was entertained. It happened. But what if I would have just quit? Then people would have said, oh, he can't do no content because our mind ain't doing no content. They would have pointed that page. But no, we kept, we worked as harder when he ain't here. <laughs> so it just helped. And we bring him up. That's my brother. I'm gonna always bring him up. That's that's family. I'm gonna bring him up. That's like a rivalry, a, a friendly rivalry. But we don't bring them all the time. We just know how to deliver the content. We're learning. We're gonna continue to learn. We're gonna continue to do what is better and and what is great. And we're gonna continue to do it. And I thank y'all for coming on the show and watching. We have 400 people watching us in 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 the midnight. That take two skills to do that. Do you know how skillful you have to be to keep people attention in the nighttime, girl? That's the time you get it in. That's the time you get it in. That's the time you get it in. You know, you get it in at that time. But you're choosing to bring me in your home. I'm like your family, your brother, your, your lover. I'm in your home. When you see me, hey, Wally, I watch you all the time. Because you see me in your home all the time. So when I went to Atlanta a couple uh during that time we had to go see Monique um October Yeah, October of last year they was on it. Oh, come on, Wiley. Yes, Wiley, Wiley. Because you you watch me all the time in your home. I'm a part of the family. I'm a part of your routine. You know? Yeah, folks do get it at any time. <laughs> they do. And then we do meetings. We have Zoom meetings. We we try to keep, we try to do as many as possible. It's great. And we're going to do more and more and more. But I just had to just talk to y'all. I love y'all. I love entertaining y'all. If I didn't love it, if it was about the money, I would have quit a long time ago. Because I'm not making all of that money like a huge side. By the time we pay my rent, by the time we pay that and some other stuff we had to cut off because it didn't hit the budget. You know, I'm not making all of this. I'm not making these other guys numbers like the Sean's, the Armand's and the Larry's and the Tasha. We're not making that. We never made those amount of numbers. We never made that type of money ever. Never, never came close to it. And the little money we were making, we it was a big dip. We went through a big dip. We went through a terrible month last month. Terrible. We, hit, we got hit hard. But do you cry about it or do you keep moving? You can cry about it, but what are you going to keep moving? And we decided to keep moving and to keep, keep at it. That's the time you get 
it, it, on the bed. Oh, I love you. Yes, I love you. And I thank everybody that sent us cash apps today. Thank everybody that came through. Uh, it was been beautiful. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all came through and y'all show love. Y'all send super chats. Uh, no, y'all didn't send no. Yes, y'all did early today. Y'all did send super chats and y'all send cash apps. Thank y'all so very much because it got to be more work. It takes work to do it. So I want to say thank you to uh, all y'all that's in here. Now, if y'all wanted to call in, I don't know if y'all do want to call in. For those that want to catch this in the morning, um, good morning. All right. Um, Because every time I do a baby, y'all be blowing this phone up. <laughs> y'all be blowing this phone up uh, 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 when it's a not a live show. All right. Because I know y'all be asleep. Y'all don't want to call in. It's nighttime. All right. It's nighttime. But it won't be a show until I ask 972 674 9462. Do anybody else want to call in and give it so we can get out of here at the three hour mark or above that? You can call. Okay. All right. Thank y'all so very much. Because I have to make sure we give y'all time and energy for that and for y'all support and love. And we want to say thank y'all so very much for coming through. This has been a good, 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 good. Okay. This has been good. All right. Thank y'all. Woo. I will see y'all. <laughs> this was fun. This was really fun. Thank y'all. <laughs> this was fun, fun, fun today. Chancellor, what you just sent me? <laughs> Chancellor keeps sending me stuff on my Twitter. Anyway, little black boy, you beautiful. Little black girl, you're enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. Now, uh, don't forget Vegas, October 6th to the 9th. Vegas, October 6th to the 9th. I will post the Flyer here. You can leave a uh you can RSVP Wiley Show at gmail.com. I'm sorry, Wiley Show Productions. Please send it to that email. Wiley Show Productions at gmail.com to RSVP. We'd love to see y'all. Okay. All right. Thank you all so very much. All right. I understand times is hard. I'm working to save up to go as well. So we want to say God bless you and thank you all for tuning into the Wiley Show. This has been an honor. If you want to cash up us, dollar sign Marquise Wiley28, Zale Show at gmail.com, PayPal, we have that as well. And we have a product that we want to drop. And I'm super excited. My first product, and it ain't going to be no t shirt, <laughs> no mug. All right. The first product, I'm super excited. So uh, to announce this, this is a collaboration that I'm doing with somebody. First product, uh, other, uh, and it's not a clothing thing. So uh, I can't wait to announce that and roll out that. But I do want to say thank you to my beautiful team for their amazing support, for their encouragement. Thank you to everybody. Get on the phone and pray and keep me encouraged. Thank you to the members. I do want to say shout out to Latavia J. I see uh, Bougie Barbie. I see Aaliyah TV, Crystal, uh, True Heart. Uh, I just want to give the members that's here a soldier, a girl, Anthuris, Empress. Oh, I said her name right. I'll get that name wrong. Oh, she can get mad at me in person. Uh, La Maria, I see you in here. Aaliyah TV, I've said that. Okay. Any other members that needed a shout out, uh, for that way, uh, you can get uh, T Bell. I see you, T Bell. T Bell, I see you, Crystal. Okay. Okay, I just want to see the ones that I scrolled up, and I think that's it of all the melons. Y'all have a wonderful. All right. Gotta go. Oh, your next ex. Shout out to your next ex. Good night. <laughs>